Hello and welcome to Little Learners. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a fun science activity that you can do with your children. This is all about ice and melting. We are going to attempt to rescue some Lego people that have been trapped in ice. Now of course you don't have to use Lego people, you can use any kind of small toys. So first of all you'll need your container, whatever container you're using to trap your characters in and you'll need to put a bit of water in the bottom. Freeze that so that you have a base, then place your characters on top. Then fill up your container. Depending on what toys you use, they may or may not float to the top, but don't worry, you should still be able to encapsulate them in the ice. So here I am just topping up my containers with some cold water and then I'm going to pop them back in the freezer until they are completely frozen. And here they are, my Lego characters are completely encapsulated in ice. I'm using this dish just to keep everything a bit contained, but of course you don't need to do that, if you don't mind things getting a bit messy and a bit wet. Release your ice from your containers. If it's proving a little bit difficult, just run it under a warm tap for a little while. Give it a little tap and it should pop right out. So here you can see that my Lego person is completely trapped in the ice. The idea is that they are trapped and we need to help rescue them. Now before we start discussing how to melt the ice or how to get into the ice, make sure that your children are feeling it and talking about what the ice feels like, getting that lovely language in there so it feels cold, it's wet, it's slimy it's a great opportunity to develop some language around this activity. And then we can start thinking about what we can do to melt this ice. So I'm going to show you a few different ways you can do this, but of course your children can come up with their own ideas. So first of all, I'm using some warm water and pouring that over my ice. Straight away I could see that it was starting to make a bit of a dent in the ice and the ice started to become a bit clearer. So make sure that you're talking to your children about what is happening when they're trying to get into the ice. Again, developing that lovely language and really observing what is happening. This activity is as much about the process as it is about the end goal. So I found that it took quite a few goes with the warm water to eventually get my Lego person out. I would give it a go every so often to see if I could break her out, but needed a little bit more. Make sure, of course, you are using warm water for this and not water that is too hot or boiling water, just to make sure that everything remains safe. And here she is, I finally rescued her. So that was just one idea you could use to free your Lego person. How about another method? This time I'm going for heat again, but I'm using a hairdryer. Now, I would recommend that if you are using something like a hairdryer, that your children direct you, but you actually hold the hairdryer, because remember, this is an electrical appliance and we are dealing with water. So just make sure you're being careful. If your children do want to go with some kind of heat, they may think about putting the dish on top of a radiator or somewhere else in the house that gets quite warm leaving it out in the sun in the garden. There are of course lots of different options, the ones I'm showing you are just a few. Now it did take quite a while with the hairdryer but eventually my Lego person was freed. The third method I'm using is salt. Pour your salt directly onto your ice. This starts to fizzle away and eat away at the ice, melting it. Now depending how big your ice cube or ice rock is will depend on how long it takes for the salt to work. If you're using this on something really small like a small ice cube it will work quite quickly. On my ice it took quite a while. But it is another interesting method. The salt starts to melt creating salt water which has a lower freezing point than the ice itself causing the ice to melt. This then makes more salt water which in turn melts more ice. Now my final method, and probably the one that children come up with the most, is just attacking that ice. 
hitting it with whatever we can or dropping it. Now I've dropped it in this dish because I don't have a garden, but I would recommend if you can get outside, dropping this outside. Just be sure that you are protecting anyone's eyes if you are hitting it or dropping it because the ice will break apart and we don't want any sharp pieces to get in those eyes. You can then discuss with your children which method worked better. As you can see, two of my Lego people came out of the ice quite quickly, whereas the two final methods that I used didn't work as well. Talk about melting, what this is, and when you heat up ice, it melts, turning the solid ice into liquid water. Of course, depending on the age of the child that you're doing this with, you'll pitch it slightly differently, but I have done this activity with reception age children, aged four and five, and it was a big hit. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel and let me know in the comments below if you try this activity. If you want to see more videos like this, you can find a playlist in the description box below. Be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you never miss a future video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.